October is a magical time of year where we embrace scary things and candy in anticipation for Halloween. And of course, nothing is scarier than candy-induced diabetes. But one thing comes close, and that's ROM hacks. These most unholy lines of code cultivated by such maniacal, demented demons as Kaza Manwar and Brodute. And as such, I have two such ROM hacks today. So to celebrate Halloween three weeks early, we're gonna take a look. This one is called Halloween Me on Spoopy Island, and it comes to us from Brodute, who is responsible for the Star Revenge series, an incredibly long list of ROM hacks. You start out on a dock surrounded by a blood ocean, and if you look closely, you'll see that Mario's got a Halloween costume. He's dressed up as Mario, but with glasses, or as though he's really bad at using eyeliner. And of course, Toad has the same costume. That is so fucking typical of him. I'm loving these Goombas though, these guys are awesome. There's only one level, and as I understand it, this is Bowser's new spoopy, edgy castle. It's so edgy, he's got a room with literal bowls of acid and paintings of sands and papyrus hanging on the walls. Well, if nothing else, at least the papyrus painting explains all the spaghetti in the hell area. I gotta say, this castle is pretty big. It's got a graveyard, massive pits of acid, it's got a huge library, and it has a door that takes you directly to hell. I wonder how much value a hell portal adds to your house. Maybe there should be a game theory on that. Yeah, make an important video for once in the last three years, won't you Mad Pat? Probably not. If we're lucky, the next game theory is probably going to explain why Rouge the Bat isn't called Tits. I mean, the kid with the tails is called Tails, the dude with the spiked knuckles is called Knuckles, where's the consistency? It's also got a noose, which makes me wonder, does the Mushroom Kingdom use capital punishment? <laughs> the gameplay is pretty solid, the difficulty is pretty reasonable, the Halloween atmosphere is there, this one's good to go, give it a shot. The other one I want to talk about is called Halloween Mayhem. It's made by Kays and an accomplice called Canopio. The overworld is the grounds of a haunted mansion. The atmosphere is fantastic here. It almost feels exactly like Halloween. There's jack-o'-lanterns everywhere, the bob have this demonic look in their eyes, and all the Goombas are dressed like Dracula. Wait, check this out. If you kill the Goombas, they turn into bats and continue trying to kill you. That's some next level Halloween spirit. That fake ass decapitation costume is for dipshits. But becoming an actual vampire though? That's the way. So the gameplay of this game is actually pretty cool. The gameplay has some puzzle solving elements, a bit of exploration, and some tricky platforming sections. And by tricky platforming sections, I mean the fucking clock level sucks dick. It looks real cool though, as does the rest of the game. Seriously, this looks awesome, and it's got some cool puzzles, like this one. You have to open this gate. Supposedly, it'll only open if the boos go to their final resting place. Hmm. Oh, I get it, you gotta lead them to the gravestones. The small world they created here is surprisingly atmospheric and pretty cool. And it's got some very fun sections, like this minecart level lifted straight out of Donkey Kong Country. I want to elaborate more on how great this hack is, but unfortunately it's relatively small and I feel as though it'd probably be better to experience the rest of it for yourself. It's a little more difficult to summarize and generalize a game with this kind of variety without over explaining, especially due to its small size, and my difficulty to talk about this game is also difficult to explain without sounding like a complete idiot. So, before I hurt myself, I think maybe it's time to stop. So that's Halloween Mayhem. Very good game. Even though there are only 8 stars in this game, it doesn't feel right to call it a small-scale ROM hack, on the grounds that it feels very dense with its content. It can be pretty difficult at times, but it's nothing that a little perseverance in safe states won't solve. This game is great. I recommend it highly. Now, as usual, I invite you to recommend other ROM hacks for me to check out. Not necessarily Mario hacks, but, you know, not necessarily not Mario hacks. Still though, gotta love the variety. In fact, does anyone know any good Zelda Ocarina of Time hacks? I kinda wanna start looking into those. If anyone has a recommendation, let me know, by all means. But uh, otherwise, thank you for watching.